بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے آئی وڈ لائک ٹو شیئر دا نالج اباؤٹ آتھروپوڈس اینڈ دے آر اکنامک سگنیفیکینس مائی نیم از سرفراز الرحمان آئی ایم اے پی ایچ ڈی اسکالر ان دا ڈپارٹمنٹ آف پیرا سائیکالوجی آئی وڈ لائک ٹو شیئر دس نالج ود ریفرنسز دیز بکس Veterinary Parasitology, Second Edition by G.M. Arkohat, Diagnostic Parasitology for Veterinary Technicians, Fifth Edition by Charles M. Hendricks, and Handbook of Entomological Terms by Muhammad Ashfaq, a Handbook of Veterinary Parasitology, Domestic Animals of North America by Henry J. Griffiths Medical and Veterinary Entomology 3rd edition by Gary R. Mullen and Economic and Ecological Significance of Arthropods in Diversified Ecosystems by Chakravarti Please push the button of bell icon and also subscribe my channel this is the picture you can observe this these are the different arthropods and uh, uh, you can see in this picture so arthropoda i would like to uh, first of all introduce about uh, what is arthropoda it is actually the member of phylum arthropoda and uh, this one is the largest phylum in the animal kingdom and 80% of all the known species of animals are the members of this phylum the body is uh, usually segmented and it consists of nine leg species the segments bear Uh, the pier jointed appendages and uh, name the arthropod it's actually uh, it's a jointed feet uh, is derived from this word and that uh, it actually it means that the jointed feet so in this picture you can see that the feet or the jointed feet and this picture is actually about uh, the, the scorpion and this is the spiny lobster and you can observe that this one is the main feature of the arthropoda uh, it, they have the jointed feet so this one is the brief uh, uh, classification of arthropoda arthropoda it uh, has the three main classes uh, insecta arachnida crustaceans or other name is the pentastomida so in this class the insecta it has the following order the first one is diptera uh, it has uh, the flies while the other is the theraptera it has the lice and uh, siphonoptera it has the fleas while the other group that uh, other order that having the uh, hemiptera So I would like to tell about uh, the economic significance this one is the most important uh, uh, that uh, what is the economically significance uh, that about the arthropoda so that they, they it a great direct or indirect importance to the humans and uh, used as food throughout the world a major link in the food chain between the photosynthetic phytoplankton and the larger carnivores such as many fish and whales attack the food crops and timber and next one is the flowering plants are pollinated by the insects and uh, the soil and uh, leaf mold arthropods and it play an important role in the formation of humans 
from the decomposed leaf litter and wood the sting and bites of the arthropod may be uh, that irritating or painful but where if you inject the dangerous toxins medically the arthropods are more uh, significant as a carrier of the disease such as uh, the malaria yellow fever dengue and elephantiasis uh, that is spread via the mosquitoes and a frequent sleeping sickness uh, that is spread via the cystis flies and where the typhus fever is spread via the lice and bubonic plague that is uh, uh, spread via the fleas and uh, rocky mountain unspotted uh, the spotted fever and lyme disease that is spread via the ticks and many diseases of the domesticated animals are also transmitted by arthropods and uh, it provide the food goods and uh, they are like the honey silk dyes yummy to uh, certain cultures and we wax so the cockroach uh, that the blatteria and that one is the oldest and the most primitive insects in presence in homes and commercial kitchens and uh, poor uh, that have the poor sanitation and substandard housekeeping and uh, its uh, public importance is that uh, the contamination of the food with their excrements mechanically uh, that it is dissemination of the pathogens and induce the allergens psychological stress bites and control by integrated pest management so the next is lice that is uh, also known as the thyroptera uh, in the uh, that uh, are menaces to humans pets and livestock and uh, ability to transmit the causative agents uh, like the trench fever epidemic typhus louse borne relapsing fever and 5000 known species of the lice are ectoparasitic of wild birds or mammals and it act as a intermediate host of the double pore worm this picture you can observe that this uh, has the lice in this picture and in this uh, you can observe that the dendrof due to the lice so next is the two bugs or is included into the hemiptera the order hemiptera includes all the insects known as the two bugs and the soft bodied insects with piercing and sucking mouth parts and usually two pairs of wings are efficient vector and tend to cause a little or no pain when they feed act as a sleeping host and uh, it create the hypersensitivity reactions and its most important point is that it is the vector of the trypanosoma crozi that causes the chaga disease you can observe that uh, uh, the chaga disease in this uh, female uh, it's actually spread due to the bear bugs so the beetles are uh, it is included in the coleoptera and it is the largest order of the insects and minor public health or uh, veterinary importance and act as an intermediate host for the helminths that cause pathology and beneficial in interrupting the life cycles of mammalian parasitic worms and it act as a predators or parasite the uh, cytoides of the cytiferous flies that breed in excrement and it actually causes the skin eye ear and nose irritations and respiratory allergy a minor gastrointestinal discomfortment so next one is the fleas it included in the siphonoptera it's actually morphologically unique ectoparasites and uh, flea allergy dermatitis it causes and 
that the sugar flea that the tonga penetrons that causes the tongiasis uh, act as a vector of the different diseases uh, that the coxiola bagnati uh, that cause the q fever and yersinia pestis that cause the plague and uh, rickettsia typhi that causes the murine typhus and maxoma virus that causes the maxomatosis and uh, francisella tularensis that causes the tularemia and it also acts as an intermediate host like the dipledium caninum uh, that is also called the double pore tapeworm and hymenolepsis uh, diminota that is the rodent uh, tapeworm and you can observe that uh, the infection due to the uh, that the fleas. Next is the flies that is included in the Deptura and it is actually uh, uh, it is also called the tube flies and it because it, uh, they uh, have the two wings and it act as a vector and that cause the diseases and uh, psychodidy that the, causes the bartonilosis, leishmaniasis and fly fever and cholecidae that is causes the ding dengue fever, encephalitis, filariasis, malaria, chikungunya, sicko fever, yellow fever, and simulidae that is causes the onchocerciasis, and uh, tabanidae that causes the low ICSS uh, and uh, tularemia, and chlorapida that is causes the uh, conjunctivitis and glossinidae uh, that is uh, causes the trypanosomiasis and ostridae that is uh, actually causes the meiasis you can observe in this picture uh, that is uh, due to the uh, infection of this uh, mosquito and uh, this next is the uh, ticks it is included in the exodida and a well known vector of the human and veterinary pathogens transmit a greater variety of infectious uh, infectious organisms uh, than any other group uh, of the blood sucking arthropods uh, act as a primary vectors uh, bovine babesiosis uh, that is the rephispholis anolatus canine babesiosis rephispholis uh, uh, sanguineus and east coast fever rephispholis appendiculatus Looping ill, uh, that is the exodes or resinas, anaplasmosis, hyloma species or uh, the rephispholis species, and tropical theliriosis, uh, that the hyloma species. And you can see that the Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever, it is due to the uh, hyloma species. So the mites, uh, it is uh, in the group of the acari, and more than 250 species of the mites. Uh, uh, the causes of the health related problem, the types of problem that the temporary irritation of the skin, persistent dermatitis, mite induced allergies and uh, transmission of pathogenic microbiological agent and uh, metazone parasites and serving as an intermediate host and uh, the invasion of respiratory passages or uh, air canals and equally uh, that is uh, in the internal organs and abnormal fear of mites and delusory acariosis. It causes the acarinism and acariasis and it is also called the acarinosis. Okay, thank you so much.